hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the modern warfare 2 the application is or unexpectedly it is stopped working when you're trying to launch the game or the application has unexpectedly stopped or it's crashing and how we can fix the error so let's uh, get into this as you can see i'm playing the call of duty modern warfare 2 on steam so for those who are on the steam what you have to do is you just have to run the steam as steam program as an administrator for that you just have to select it you have to right click then go for show more options and go to properties now if you go to compatibility you can see uh, there is an option like this so you have to select rent this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok this is the first step what you have to do once it is done just launch the steam and try to play most probably that might be working and next is all about you have to do is you just have to set high performance mode on power options if it is available for that you just have to go over here you have to search for control panel open this now from here click on hardware and sound now go to power options now from here as you can see the preferred plan is balanced one so if you're getting high performance here just change this to high performance because uh, setting this to high performance might be working and if it is not that you can keep it on the balanced one as it is recommended you can keep on the same if it is high performance just change this to high performance and the next one is all about you have to update the windows for that just go over here just search for settings go to windows update over here and check for the updates and if updates are available just update it right now i am up to date so if in a case if your updates are there just update it and that is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to make few commands in the uh, nvidia control panel but i don't know how it's going to work so here if you search for nvidia control panel you can do this you just if you are on the nvidia then you can do this not for the amd so here you have to right click then you just have to click on show more options now that will take you to nvidia control panel just select this now they're going to ask you the question like this just go for agree and continue so that is for the first time right so now you just have to click on manage 3d settings click on manage 3d settings and if you scroll down on maximum frame rate as you can see this has been turned off so i can turn it on so turn it on and keep this to 30 okay keep this to around 30 okay so once you just go for okay and do this okay you just have to do that so you have to turn it on then you just have to change this to 30 then see whether you are able to fix the issue next one is you have to update the drivers manually for that you have to go to the nvidia official uh, like this where you will be able to get this so i'll be providing for both nvidia as well as for the amd so you have to just update it and if you're on the amd you can give the details and update it and if you are on the nvidia you can do this so if you are on the amd uh, you just have to do this you just have to do like this if you're on the amd somewhere else i kept it but i lost it i think so sorry here it is amd if you're on the amd just uh, go to this give the respective details on the graphics card download it and if you are on the uh, nvidia you will be getting the latest patch out that is 526.47 but uh, there is an issue with the 526.47 so if you're after upgrading to the latest version when you're trying to download it you may be getting 526.47 so if so i'll show you here so as you can see this is a link which I'll be giving in the description. Now I have given all the details. Now I'm going for start search. So if I go for start search, I might be getting the latest version that is 526.47, like I told you, right? So if that is the case, you should not be downloading this one because this is the reason this particular graphic driver version is causing a lot of problem for the users. So I recommend you, you can go for 522.25, okay? Just go for the below one and just uh, download and install it and also most probably after updating the drivers the issue regarding will be completely fixed and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye